Isang magandang buhay, mga kasambuhay, ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. Sa ngalan po ng aking mga kasamahang mga pari at mga brothers at mga junior professed members ng aming pong community dito po sa Pilipinas at sa Macau at gayon din po sa ngalan ng mga pari ng Arts Diocese of Manila at ng TV Maria ang atin pong mission partner, kayo po ay aming inaanyayahang makiisa, makimisa ngayon pong ikalabindalawa ng Mayo 2019. Nako, ito pong linggong ito ay talagang sabi nga natin loaded, ha? eventful at event-filled. Ito po ang ikalawang linggo ng buwan ng Mayo, ang ikaapat na linggo ng atin pong liturgical season of Easter. Ito rin po ang huling araw ng nobenaryo para po sa kapistahan ng ating mahal na ina bilang Our Lady of the Rosary of Fatima. Ha, siya nga po pala ang patron ng baryo ng aking pong nanay dyan sa Kandon, Ilocosur. Kaya ta, talagang magpipista yung mga taga-Kandon na yan. No? Eve of elections, midterm elections no? sa Pilipinas para po sa mga senador, congressmen, governors, mayors at councilors At ito rin po ay Good Shepherd Sunday. Kaya po atin pong ipinapanalangin ang ating mga pastol, no? ang ating mga pari, mga obispo, ang Santo Papa. At gayon din po ito ang World Day of Prayer for Vocations. Na sana nga tuloy-tuloy ang pagtawag din ng Panginoon ng mga magpapastol ng kanya pong kawan. And of course, Mother's Day. Yan. Kaya binabati po natin lahat po ng mga nanay, binabati ko po ang aking uh, mama, no? ang aking mama, Carmelita, dyan po sa Paco, Maynila. And of course, we would like to greet and pray para po sa ating mga regular na mga kasambuhay, ang ating po mga homebound na mga may sakit with very special prayers para po sa ating mga cancer patients. Alam nyo po, itong mga nakalipas na araw, I have been greatly touched by ministering to cancer support groups and uh, marami na rin akong uh, minisahan ng mga namatay ng maaga sa cancer. Kaya we would like to pray in a special way para po sa ating mga cancer patients. Siyempre po ang mga elderly, lalo na po yung mga elderly na mga mothers, mga grandmothers, ha? mga aunties. No? At uh, gayon din po, we'd like to pray for all caregivers para po sa mga persons on duty tulad po ng mga militar, mga kapulisan, yung ating pong mga doktor sa mga ER at gayon din ang ating mga health workers. And of course, our OFWs, lalo-lalo na po ang ating mga seafarers. Greetings and prayers din po para sa ating mga Canada-based na mission partners. Sina Brother Alex, Dorothy Santos Merck, Ani Adorna, Emily at Dante Reyes at ang kanilang pamilya, si Joy at si Alex Reyes, si Dr. Joe Adorna Guzman at si Alicia Adorna, kasama po ang inyong kanya-kanyang mga kamag-anakan at pamilya. We'd also like to pray para po sa ating mga long time na mga kasambuhay mission partners, si Leslie Masigan at ang kanyang pamilya, no? uh, si Miguel, si Sammy, si Jake, no? Si Tony at Lourdes Choa, Ed at Norma Arrojado, uh, si George at Noemi Villarus. Uh, kasama po ang kanilang mga uh, Villarus and Villarus CPA na mga partners at mga employees. Si Didith at uh, Joey Jacob. Binabati natin si uh, Brother Joey Jacob sa kanyang 
pagiging senior vice president ayan ng kanya pong pinagtatrabahuang bangko no more power to you si Mariel Diaz gayon din po ang kusina ni Kambal ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel na talaga namang uh, nagdiwang ng kanila na namang anibersaryo through thick and thin sabi nga natin no Keep it up, no? Irma and Delio. Si Corazon Ochoa, Rosita Kauyan, Alma Gonzales, si Catherine Pablo, sa Chona. Gayun din po uh, ang brother Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Reyes, Horacio, Rachel Esteban, at Leilani Paladio Himotea. Binabati rin po natin ang ating mga newfound friends sa atin pong mga pilgrimages, yung spell group ng Orange Group ng March 2019. Ito po yung mga magkakaklase at uh, mga high school friends ng La Consolacion Kaloocan <laughs> way back 19 so and so. Hindi ko na lang babanggitin ha? yung mga spell group na yan. Uh, gayun din po ang ating mga kaibigan ng mga OAR Agustinian Recollect Father, si Bra uh, Father Randy, Father Charlie, si Father Joe Ab, si F ang Mary Noel Missionary, si Father Joy. Pa kasama po ang kanyang mga OFW community dyan po sa Taiwan. Si Cora Cabral, Geraldine Lee at Grace at Jerry Lara. Gayun din po si uh, Marie Joyce Brillo, Jimmy Olaso. Ang uh, brother Jimmy dyan po sa Washington, D.C. Si Attorney Juana San Benaventura at Nino Molina. Gayun din po ang masigasig na mga may-ari ng Journeys of Faith. Si Willie at Arlina Onglao. Ang kanila pong staff na si Marites. At gayun din po ang aking mga co-pilgrims na si na Albert Anton Santos ang uh, kanyang tita Juliet O'Reilly, Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok, ang kakakasal po na si Chrissy at si Sam, no? Sana ay uh, you are truly blessed with the uh, long years of togetherness, ha? Uh, I just uh, presided over their wedding diyan po sa Manila Cathedral. Si Highland at uh, Rose Lacy si Rosebel D at William D at gayon din po ang Tantuiko group si Dana, si Kathleen at si Tal, ha? mga lawyers ha? si Iris at Val Ribero mula po sa marriage encounter at uh, si Juliet Estolas at Silvet at uh, siyempre po si uh, attorney Grace Pulido Tan at ang kanyang uh, better half Uh, si Nonoy Tan We'd like also to greet uh, Ang atin pong nakasama rin Sa pilgrimage ng March 2019 Ang grupo po ni Brother Manny At Sister Lulu Recto Si Brother Manny at Sister Lulu Ay eh, nagdiwang po ng kanilang 60th wedding anniversary Diyan po sa Kana at uh, Brother Manny is looking forward to 80th birthday this coming July. Ha? At si Pearl at Rafi Rodriguez. So, uh, maliban po dyan sa ating mga mission partners na yan, mga kaibigan, mga supporters ng ating pong apostolado, nais nice din po nating bigyan ng pansin ng ilan po sa mga prayer request na dumating sa atin pong uh, email, messenger at YouTube account. Si Marites Bautista de las Alas, special intentions at uh, maraming salamat sa iyo pong love offering. Si Grace nang nais niyang ipa, ipanalangin po natin ang kanyang mga namayapa na mga mahal sa buhay. Si Gualberto at Juana Tiongson, Husias at Thessalonica Oliveras. O, talaga namang napaka-biblical na mga pangalang ito. Ha? Si Ralph at Anthony Oyando, Alberto Tiongson, 
Justina Concepcion, Petra Kamat at Leonardo Oliveras. Nawa, bigyan sila ng kapayapaan ng Panginoon. Si Amy naman ay nagpadala din po ng kanyang love offerings at special intentions. Si Blue Jasmine Kim Shikhos. Yeah. Medyo mahirap i-pronounce itong kanyang uh, binigay na pet name, Blue Jasmine. No? Uh, nais niyang ipanalangin po natin ang napakabilis na recovery ng kanyang anak na si Kyle Adriel Jos Jasmine. At gayon din po ang special intentions ni Nida Rodriguez Tio. Okay? So, ngayon po, ang uh, patuloy natin pagdiriwang ng Easter, tayo po ay dumating sa ikaapat na linggo ng Easter season at tuwing fourth Sunday of Easter, ang atin pong tema ay The Good Shepherd, ang mabuting pastol. At yan po muli ang ating mapapakinggan sa misa natin for today at sa mga susunod na araw ng weekday na ito. The Good Shepherd Sunday, The Good Shepherd Week. At uh, bakit po sa ikaapat na linggo ng Easter pinagdiriwang natin itong Good Shepherd Sunday? Kasi po, itong aral na ito na binigay ng Panginoon sa ikasampung kabanata ng Gospel of St. John ay uh, nagpapaalala sa atin na bagamat ang Panginoong Yesus ay muling nabuhay, naglaho na sa ating paningin, nakalukluk na sa kanan ng Ama, gaya ng sinasabi natin tuwing tayo po'y nananalangin ng credo, the reason Lord continues to be a shepherd, to care for the flock sa pamamagitan po ng ministry ng mga church leaders at mga shepherds. So yun po yung pinakalagong, yung pinakajist ng atin pong uh, pagdiriwang na ito ng Good Shepherd Sunday. And uh, we will take note na halimbawa, doon po sa first reading po natin, Acts 13 verse 14 and then verse 43 to 52, maririnig po natin ang isa sa mga turning points ng kwento po ng unang Christian community, turning point ng ministry ng Apostol Pablo at ang kanyang kasamang si Bernabe. At bakit turning point ito? Kasi sabi po dyan sa reading na yan, uh, pagdating nila doon sa Antioch of Pisidia, nakaranas po ng rejection sa mga synagogue Jews ang uh, Apostol Pablo at dahil po dyan, gumawa sila ng landmark decision. Aha, hindi lang pala Supreme Court ang gumagawa ng mga landmark decision. No? So gumawa din si, pa si Pablo at si Bernabe ng landmark decision, this time to open the preaching of the gospel to the Gentiles. Yan, they turned to the Gentiles. At dito po nagsimula definitively ang pagiging apostle to the Gentiles ng Apostol Pablo. At uh, dito po pinapakita kung paano napakahalaga yung leadership, yung preaching, yung discernment ng leaders, lalo-lalo na sa gitna ng mga difficulties ng community. Kaya let's pray for our shepherds. No? Sila po ang patuloy na gumagabay sa kawan ng Panginoong Yesus. No? And that is what we proclaim in the responsorial psalm. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Sa second reading naman po natin, isang napaagandang pangitain o vision ang describe ng apostol na si San Juan sa Revelations chapter 7. Ah, yung Apokalipsis kung tawagin po ng iba. Revelation 7, 9 at verse 14 to 17. Ito po 
ay maririnig natin ang pagkwekwento ni San Juan sa kanyang nakitang heavenly liturgy kung paanong nabigyan siya ng uh, konting silip, yan, glimpse ng heavenly liturgy at kanya sa gitna ng liturgy na yan ng kalangitan is the Lamb who will shepherd them. Ganda po, no? Yung Lamb ang mag-shepherd sa kanila. Si Jesus ang Lamb. Siya rin ang shepherd. Palagi ko, ito isang napagandang typology para sa atin. Na, alam nyo, ang isang church leader upang maging effective, dapat uh, ganyan din, hindi lang siya shepherd. Siya rin po ay lamb. Kumbaga sa uh, sabi po ng iba, dapat he must lead by being with. Ayan. At yan po ang ginawa ng Panginoong Yesus. No? He did not only lead ahead, but he led by being with the flock. Kaya siya ang good shepherd, siya din ang Lamb of God. At yan po yung vision ng second reading. Sa ating Ebanghelyo, ang pinakamahalagang puntos naman po ng John chapter 10, verse 27 until verse 30 ay yung pagsasabi ng Panginoon na napakahalaga yung boses ng shepherd. Sapagkat sa pamagitan ng kanyang boses na naririnig ng sheep, yung mga sheep po, mahina yung kanilang paningin, Mani, mahina yung kanilang pangamoy, pero medyo malakas yung kanilang pandinig, kaya kailangan naririnig nila yung boses ng shepherd. And it is through this voice that we lead. Mamaya po, after the mass, pag-uusapan natin ito, lalo-lalo na in relation to what is happening sa atin pong bayan uh, in the middle of preparations for the midterm elections. Narito na po ang ating Good Shepherd Sunday Mass mula po sa oratory ni Maria Reina ng mga apostol dito po sa Society of St. Paul, Makati. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit.
Sisters and brothers, the fourth Sunday of Easter is called Good Shepherd Sunday. In the Gospel, Jesus says that he protects the sheep the Father has given him. He also gives the sheep, his disciples, eternal life. We also celebrate today the World Day of Prayer for Vocations. We pray to our loving Lord to send shepherds of souls who can lead us to him and who like him can give themselves for the good of the flock. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord. Christ have mercy. You came to call sinners, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered the synagogue and took their seats. Many Jews and worshipers who were converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them 
to remain faithful to the grace of God. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. But Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are the people, the sheep of his flock. <coughs> Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, Jan, had a vision of a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. Then one of the elders said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they stand before God's throne and worship him day and night in his temple. The one who sits on the throne will shelter them. They will not hunger or thirst anymore, nor will the sun or any heat strike them. For the lamb who is in the center of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to springs of life giving water and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you and with your spirit A reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord jesus said my sheep hear my voice i know them and they follow me i give them eternal life and they shall never perish no one can take them out of my hand my father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. 
Good morning. Happy Easter po sa inyong lahat. Binabati ko ang ating mga kababayan, ating mga kapatid, mga kapuso, kapamilya na linggo-linggo ay tumututok sa atin dito sa Sambuhay TV Mass. Ating mga kababayan na sa ibang bansa na wala silang uh, access sa simbahan pero because of our Sambuhay TV Mass, they can celebrate the Eucharist with us. So, Happy Easter po. Um, in my native language, sinasabi ko mabuting, maayong, malipayong pagkabanhaw na sa atong ginoong Heso Kristo. Today, fourth Sunday of Easter, ang isang imahen na binigay sa atin ng ating mga pagbasa ay ang imahen ng mabuting pastol, Good Shepherd. Kaya tinatawag na Good Shepherd Sunday. At ang Good Shepherd uh, image of the Good Shepherd ay alam natin ay ang imahe ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na nababasa natin sa Evangelion in San Juan chapter 10 onwards. So the, the whole chapter is all about the Good Shepherd. And one question that comes to our mind is ano ba itong mabuting pastol na ito? Sino ba ang mabuting pastol? Of course, ang mabuting pastol ay walang iba kundi si Yesu Cristo. Ang kanyang buhay ay isang pagpapakita ng kanyang debosyon at pagmamahal sa ating lahat. No? Kaya nga, good shepherd, dahil ang, ang shepherd nito, ang pastol na ito, ay pinapakita niya ang kanyang concern at pagmamahal sa kanyang mga tupa. No? Sa ating bansa, wala tayong pastol sa mga tupa. Meron tayong nagpapastol ng kambing, nagpapastol ng baboy, meron ba? Ganon. Or nagpapastol ng ibang hayop. No? Wala sa ating tradisyon ang, ang pastol. But we know what it means. Dahil ang pastol, ang mabuting pastol, hindi lamang pastol, ay siyang nagdadala ng kanyang mga tupa o mga kambing o anumang hayop doon sa lugar kung saan may sila makakain. Not only bring them to the place where they can eat, but also protecting them. So, what are the characteristics of a good shepherd? Na siya rin ating makikita sa buhay ni Jesus. Number one, as I've said, is a good shepherd, like Jesus is a good shepherd, is one who is loving and shows concern for the sheep. Another word for concern is devotion, devotion. No? And this shepherd is willing not only to protect the sheep, but to bring his sheep to fresh pastures. And this shepherd is also willing to give his life to protect his sheep. Compare that to hired shepherd, yung mga hired, yung binabayaran. No? Sila, wala silang devotion and concern sa kanilang mga inaalagaan. No? What they are concerned of is ang kanilang makukuha, salary. No? Kung sila ay uh, hired workers, hired shepherds, pag nakuha na kanilang sweldo, wala niyan, aalis na yan. No? But the good shepherd is not like that. Second characteristic of a good shepherd is dahil sinasamahan niya kanyang tupa doon sa lugar na kung saan may maraming pagkain, the good shepherd then has a deep union with his sheep. Kilala niya ang kanyang mga tupa. Sinabi nga ni Paul Francis na dapat ang shepherd daw ay mga ngamoy tupa. We smell like the sheep. Kung sino yung inaalagaan natin, dapat ganun din ang ating amoy. No? And the third a characteristic is that this shepherd is a one who protects the sheep from all enemies. No? Sinabi ko na kanina. No? One who is willing to give his life for his sheep. In our first reading, Paul and Barnabas we see them going around in 
a Antioch and Perga. But they were not just preaching. They were leading the people to the light. No? Paul and Barnabas were good shepherds in a sense na talagang kinakausap nila yung mga tao. Dinadala nila doon kung saan, kung ano yung tama. Even if people contradicted them, kahit inaaway sila, okay lang sa kanila. They did not get even with them. Yung bang pag, pag sinaktan ka, sasaktan mo rin, di ba? Ang tendency natin pag tayo sinaktan, eh, we get even to that person. A good shepherd does not do that. Does not get even. A good shepherd does not apply the principle of an eye for an eye. But one who considers the welfare of the others, kahit na hindi kontra sila sa iyo. My dear brothers and sisters, today is also the day world prayer of four vocations. Ibig sabihin, isama natin sa ating dasal, sa ating Eucharist, ating pagdiriwa ngayon ng ating mga leaders. Kanina sinabi ko, sino ba ang good shepherd sa atin? We can say, ang good shepherd, aside from us, ay ang mga parents natin. Ang ating mga church leaders at ang leaders ng ating mga bansa. They are shepherds because they guide us. In one way or another, they show their concern for us. Tama lang na sa linggong ito, ang ating pinag-uusapan ay good shepherd, Jesus the good shepherd, dahil bukas ay election. Pipili tayo ng ating mga local leaders. At marami ang tatanong sa akin, Father, paano ba namin pipiliin? Ano ba ang aming batayan? Simple lang. Jesus the good shepherd. Ano ba ang nakikita niyo kay Jesus? Ang mga katangian na meron si Jesus. Yun ang hanapin natin sa ating mga leaders na pipiliin natin bukas. Okay? Huwag tayo padalos-dalos. Huwag tayo padadala sa ating emosyon o sa mga sobre na kumakalat dyan. Alam naman natin anong laman ng sobre na yan, ano? Let us not compromise the principles of the Good Shepherd. Because eventually, ito mga pinipili natin, bukas, they will lead us either to fresh pastures o doon sa kamatayan. Dalawa lang yan eh. Dadalhin tayo sa buhay o dadalhin tayo sa kamatayan. May isang kwento na sa isang highway may matinding traffic at yung nasa gitna, ang tataka siya bakit hindi umuusad yung traffic. traffic. Then may isang mamang umatakbo at naghihingi ng pera. Ano nangyari? Sabi niya, eh kasi sir, doon sa likod, o doon sa harapan pala, may na-hostage isang bus at ang sakay ay puro politiko. Ah, ganun. Ano nangyari? Wala pa yung mga polis. Parating pa lang. At naghihingi ng ransom, 1 billion pesos para may ligtas yung mga politiko na nasa loob ng bus. Ang sabi ng driver, ano nangyari? Magkano na ba ang nakolekta natin? Wala, kahit piso, wala. Pero marami nag-donate ng gasolina at posporo. Sana naman hindi mangyari sa atin yun. Ano? Na instead na matuwa tayo na pipili tayo ng mga leaders natin, ang mangyari ay wala, mag... mag, mag Titignan na lang tayo, titignan na lang tayo kung anong, anong gagayahin natin yung iba. No? Walang batayan. So let's take advantage of this right of ours to vote our leaders. And our standard is Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd. Ito bang pipiliin natin? Meron bang concern for us? May devotion ba sa atin? O baka sa kanilang sariling kapakanan lang ang tinitingnan nila? Pangalawa, ito bang ating mga pipiliing leader bukas ay nagpapikita ba ng kanilang hindi lamang concern and devotion but are they also willing to die for us, for the people? Are willing to get hurt for us? Yan ang tanong. Ang panghuli, ito bang pipiliin natin ng mga politiko? 
Kilala ba tayo? Kilala ba? Alam ba nila ang pangangailangan natin? Lalo lalo na mga mahihirap nating kapatid. Yung may masakit. Yung mga elderly. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the Eucharist today, we bring all these intentions to the Lord dahil ang Diyos lang ang makapagbabago ng ating puso. Only God can make our hearts really full of concern and devotion. We also pray na sana ay may mga kabataan na willing pumasok sa religious life. No? Dahil vocations Sunday, eh, sana ay may tumugon sa kanyang tawag upang mag-alay ng kanyang buhay para sa lahat. No? Sa pagkapare, pagkamadre, at single uh, blessedness at pa rin sa bukasyon ng pag-aasawa. At ang pinakamalaga sa lahat dahil bukas nga ay eleksyon, let us pray na sana ay tayo mismo we be responsible in choosing our leaders using of course always the standard of Jesus the Good Shepherd. I would like to end my reflection with this statement na sinabi ni, uh, ni St. Thomas at hindi ko na, hindi ko na, I'm not so sure anymore. Sinabi niya, if Jesus is our batayan, if our standard, then we must be willing to despise or to hate what Jesus hated on the cross and we must be willing to love what Jesus loved on the cross. As Christians, we must be willing to despise and hate what Jesus hated on the cross and we must be willing to love what Jesus loved on the cross. Amen. We now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to our loving Father that we may listen to the voice of his Son, the Good Shepherd, who protects us and leads us to the pasture of life and plenty. Full of trust, we pray. Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Give the Pope, bishops, priests, deacons, religious and missionaries, warm and caring hearts that they may prove to be true shepherds of your people. We pray. Good, Good shepherd, shepherd, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bestow on our political and civil leaders the grace of wisdom, integrity, and genuine service that they may effectively lead your people by their word and example. We pray. Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. Bless all parents, educators, spiritual directors, and those who exercise leadership among us that they may joyfully and perseveringly guide young people to the right path. We pray, Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. Make the family a fertile seedbed for vocations to priestly and consecrated life through the spirit of prayer, love, and service that reign among family members. We pray, Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. In the coming elections, Enlighten the people to choose candidates who, like the Lord Jesus, really care for the people and give their heart and strength that there may be peace, justice, and progress in our land. We pray. Good Shepherd, hear our prayer. 
Loving Father, your Son died and rose again that he might give us eternal life. Help us to listen to his voice so that we may make of our lives an acceptable offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, grant we pray that we may always delight in these Paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and is in his rising the life of all risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we now dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share this peace to one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head for the blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessing. Amen. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. Amen. And may you have, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace and love of the risen Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Maraming salamat sa atin pong presider sa Banal na Misa ngayon pong ikaapat na linggo ng Easter. At uh, tayo naman po'y dadako sa ating pabaong katikismo para po sa araw na ito. And um, alam nyo, tamang-tama nga po yung ating narinig sa Misa kanina. Kailangan natin ng shepherd, kailangan natin ng boses ng shepherd. At uh, alam naman po natin, ay uh, bukas, hindi lang po kapistahan ng Our Lady of Fatima, bukas po ay midterms election dito po sa bayan natin, our one and only country, Pilipinas kung mahal, sabi nga ng isang kanta. And uh, uh, napaaganda po na pagnilayan natin ang boses ng ating mga pastol, ha? ang mga bishops, Meron po silang napaaganda na mga isinulat na mga liham pastoral, boses po nila sa gitna po ng napakaraming maingay na boses ng atin pong society sa araw na ito. Unang-una na isko pong tutukan yung uh, sinabi ng mga obispo noong ikadalawamputwalo, 28th of January, taong 2019 sa simula po netong taong ito ang title po ng kanilang exhortation ay conquering evil with good i think it's a very good reminder para po sa atin lalo-lalo na nagmumuni-muni sino ba ang aking bibilugan oo sa ilalim ng buwan. <laughs> De, di po. Sino ang aking bibilugan sa balota bukas? Well, first of all, dyan po sa 28th of January 2019 na pastoral letter ng atin pong mga shepherds, mga obispo, sabi nila, many times it is very important to respond in silence. So sabi nila, napakaraming boses ngayon. There's the culture of violence. Maraming nagaganap na bomba ang katedral ng hulo, iba't ibang mga patayan, dulot ng uh, tinatawag natin na drug campaign ng gobyerno. 
And they remind us, sabi po ni Pope Francis, there are moments in life when the best response is silence and prayer. Kaya po napakahalaga siguro yun na bago tayo bumoto, bago tayo pumunta sa kanya-kanyang presinto, have silence and have prayer. Pakinggan mo ang laman ng iyong puso at ng iyong budhi. Yan. May budhi ka pa ba? Yan. And I always sustain na kahit na bagsak na ang iyong pag-asa, bagsak na ang iyong tiwala, sabi ko nga, the last strand is love. Anong gagawin mo bilang pagmamahal sa bayan? Oh, I think that should be part of our silence no? and prayer. Pangalawa, ang sabi po ng mga obispo, uh, napakahalaga din na balikan natin yung uh, uh, faith natin. Okay? Uh, nire-respeto natin na sinasabi po ng ibang relihiyon ang kanilang ini-endorso, nire-respeto natin ang freedom of expression ng ating mga mamamayan, iba't ibang mga kababayan, iba't ibang kulay, iba't ibang partido, pero bilang miyembro ng atin pong simbahan, sabi po ng ating mga pastol, atin dapat intindihin ano ba ang guidelines at pangaral at values na itinuturo ng Roman Catholic Church regarding life, regarding justice, regarding society, regarding economy. Ayan, okay? And then, another very important thing, uh, how about yung issue ng drugs? Mainit po yan kasi. Ano sabi ng mga bishops? We are not against the government's efforts to fight illegal drugs. We respect the fact that it is government's duty to maintain order, to protect citizens. Pero kanila, we acknowledge that illegal drugs are a menace to society at ang unang nabibiktima kanila, the easier victims are the poor. Okay? Pero itong sabi nila, eh kung titignan natin, eh, kadalasan, ang nauhuli naman ng gobyerno at brutally kung minsan napapatay on mere suspicion ay yung mga drug users at peddlers na small time, small fish. O nasan yung big time financiers? Nasan yung mga big time la na mga drug lords? Yun ang tanong eh. Oo, yun ang tanong. San sila nakatago? Baka nagtatago sa saya. Hindi ko lang kung kaninong saya. O dapat kanila, we have to be able to look at our choice in that manner. No? Uh, hindi lang yung porket itong politikong ito eh, against drugs, okay na yan. Hindi. Tingnan natin. Eh, alam nyo kung minsan sabi nga nila, there are wolves coming in sheep's clothing. O, hindi po ako nagsasabi niya na galing po yan sa Bible. Pangalawa, o oh, susunod, sabi ng mga obispo, tignan din natin, how do people look at human beings? Yung mga mentally ill, yung mga born with disabilities, okay? Uh, lahat ng uri ng tao, nandun ba yung kanilang pananaw, kahit na sa mga kriminal, na ito yung mga tao pa rin. The respect for life. The ultimate respect of life. No? And then, sabi nga nila, the, save the children. Yung mga bata. Oo. There is no way we can call ourselves a civilized society if we hold children in conflict to be the same as adults who are criminally liable. Eh kung minsan yung bata, eh, napipilit lang. Eh, dapat nga yung bata i-rescue. Kasi yung bata, victim din daw. At totoo po yan. No? Uh, ito kung minsan parang nagiging uh, blurred situation na sapagkat gusto natin sugpuin ang kasamaan, uh, kahit yung mga uh, bata na biktima 
ay naisasakripisyo po natin. Pero uh, meron din pong sinabi ang mga obispo rin uh, tungkol sa eleksyon. Ito ho ay inilabas ng January 28, 2019. At ang title po neto ay Seek the Common Good. Hanapin ang common good, ang kabutihan para sa lahat. At dito po, ang ina-advocate ng mga obispo ay napakahalaga sa gobyerno ang check and balance. At para po sa atin, by experience, ang natitira na lang na institusyon ng gobyerno kung saan nagkakaroon ng balanse ay ang Senado. Kung wala po yun, we are inching towards total control. Yan po ang words ng mga obispo. Total control. Kaya nga, pangalagaan po natin, sino po yung ilalagay natin bilang check and balance. And there are three things that the bishops would like to speak of. Dapat principled, courageous, at merong pagkilala sa common good. Hindi po sa partisan politics, kung hindi common good. Ang kailangan po natin ay mga senators na mga statesmen. And let us never forget, sabi nga ng mga bishops, na nakasalalay po sa eleksyong ito, lalo-lalo na po sa Congress at Senado, ang future constitutional change ng bansang ito. And alam nyo po, may mga issues ang constitutional change na hindi natin dapat ipagkibit balikat. Ano po yan? Unang-una, term limits. Pangalawa, national resources, natural resources. Ito ba'y pwede na natin buksan sa mga dayuhan tulad ng mga Chino na parang daluyong na nasa bansang ito ngayon? Oh? And then, yung version ng federalismo na gustong pairalin, medyo hindi klarado. Kaya po, napakahalaga ang Kongres at Senado kasi dyan po sasalain ang lahat pong ito na kung hindi po natin magawa, e baka yung mga napaagandang bagay na inilagay natin sa Konstitusyon ay mawala. I would like to end this little catechism quoting po the words of Pope Francis, our shepherd not only in the Philippines but in the universal church, the words of Pope Francis, the voice of the shepherd, September 16, 2013, sabi po ni Pope Francis, I am responsible for governance. I have to do the best so that they govern well. And I have to do my best participating in politics according to my ability. Yan po ang mga words ng ating shepherd na si Pope Francis. With that, I'd like to invite everyone na maging mission partner po natin, maging kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator sa panong paraan. Unang-una po, You can be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng inyong love offerings. No? Kaya po nasa uh, screen po natin ng iba't ibang mga accounts na gamit po natin dito po sa atin pong uh, Sambuhay TV Mass. Uh, Paki-message po kami kung may problema sa mga accounts. No? You can also be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator by promoting ito pong ating apostolado at uh, nasa screen po natin ang mga cable networks na gamit po ng TV Maria at gayon din po ang ating mga cyberspace accounts sa YouTube at sa Facebook. At gayon din po, you can be a mission partner by texting us yung inyo pong mga mass intentions. Okay? Sa ngalan po ng uh, St. Paul Audiovisuals at Sambuhay TV, uh, sa ngalan ni na Father Resti de la Peña, clerics Edward Dantes at uh, Kib 
di matak-tak, doing all for the gospel, we leave you this prayer ng amin pong founder, si Blessed James Alberione, to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, and my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you. Jesus, my God, Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Amen. Amen.